Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Manu from Piano Sight Reading, where I give sight reading tips to piano players. In this video, I'm going to be sight reading one of your compositions. Now, these were a set of pieces that were sent to me by a British composer, John Pitts. And these were Indian ragas. I've had never heard of this word. I had obviously never played such a piece. And for those who don't know, Laga is a type of Indian classical music. This is what the composer has to say about Raga. Ragas are India's classical music, its highest musical art form. Traditional ragas feature highly ornate melodies that are partly improvised with a typical set of conventions and a typical structure. The word raga literally means to color and from that also to induce emotion or to arouse passion. Each named raga is defined by a particular set of musical phrases and ingredients which determine its distinct color. Now, these ragas are typically played by a melody instrument or voice together with a drone instrument and rhythmic percussion. But the set of pieces I was sent are pieces that have been reimagined for the piano, either for one player or a player with their teacher. So there are different types of ragas inside this book that I was sent, which is Indian ragas for piano made easy. So these different ragas are based on different types of scales. And there's a page in the book where you see all the different types of scales. So I thought I would select the scale that appealed to me and then from then choose a raga that I wanted to try to sight read. So I've chosen the scale which is called Baga Maduvanti. So notice that on the way up, it's slightly different to on the way down. So on the way, on the way up, you skip a few notes. And then on the way down, you play all eight notes. The raga I'll be playing is apparently an easy raga madvanti. So the way it works is that you have two main sections. The first one is called Alap and it's mostly improvised. And you start off with kind of setting the scene, I think, and playing different notes of the scale. And then you have a repeated pattern in the left hand And then on top of that, you have these melodies that are meant to be improvised or played in an improvised way. So you don't have to play strictly in time. It says here, very slow, free pulse, relax, really, really relax. Don't play it in time. Use uneven rhythms. Play as if you are struggling as you go through, feel free to repeat bars or mix them up a bit. Okay, so it should be quite free and almost like meditation, I think. And then the second part is the main body of the piece. It's what is called GAT. And this is a composed melody. So with rhythm, it's in 4-4 and then and then you also have 
a passage where you improvise over the left hand. These should be notes of the scale. So I should try to remember what it was. And then, so I'll do my best to only play those notes. And then you have an ending that scale again. I'll see how I go. I've, I've never played this kind of music before. We'll, we'll see what happens. What did you think? That was interesting. I was trying 
to, you know, make it sound like I was improvising. I was trying to relax. Quite interesting to improvise while reading music because, you know, you're so used to playing in time and then suddenly you have directions saying no, don't play in time, play it unevenly. I don't know. I, I would love to know what you thought. <laughs> I, I think it was uneven in the first part. I found it hard to also coordinate the hands. Uh, I guess the left hand is more like a drone, whereas the right hand is kind of free on top. A bit like playing Chopin where the left hand is a bit more strict and then the melody in the right hand is quite free. So I found that interesting, a bit of a challenge. And then towards the end where you have to improvise over the top, I guess it was okay. Um, it was hard to, to know where I was, but it says to play roughly four times. So I guess it doesn't have to be strictly four times. I think that was a nice change, nice change from playing classical music. It's, a, it's an interesting idea to take something which is instrumental and to make it into a piano version. So John Pitts, I, I applaud you for doing this, for taking something which is usually meant for, I think, the sitar or the voice and some kind of drum and to make it into piano. Not only that, but to make it approachable and accessible for, you know, students. I think that's really cool. Um, so if you'd like to learn more about Indian Vargas and to learn more about the pieces that were reimagined for the piano, uh, have a look at John Pitt's website, which is pianoraga.com. You can read a bit more about what ragas are. Uh, there are a few videos you can watch and you can also buy his music. There are different collections and there's also more you know, traditional classical music pieces there as well. They're not only Indian related. Thank you so much John Pitts for sending me your music. I would love to hear your opinion, how you thought I went. And I will be recording your other piece. I have received another piece by John Pitts called Autumn, Autumn Evening, something like that. So that will be, I will be playing that in a upcoming video. Well, thank you so much for watching. If if you like this kind of video then please like it and share it with your fellow musicians. I will see you in the next video. Happy sight reading!